Hey guys, welcome on back to uh, 1908. We have uh, the uh, Red Sox of the Athletics here for you today. Of course, Red Sox and Athletics are battling for uh, the possibility of overtaking uh, St. Louis. And uh, we'll see what happens here. Remember, this is just, uh, what is it, May 1st? Yes, it is May 1st. So we're way at the beginning of things. Doc Gessler rolls a 51 for an 8. It's a ground ball off of Eddie Plank over to shortstop. And it's Nichols who has that. Throws to first for the out one away. Bob Unglaub now rolls a 22 for a 7, and he gets the base hit. And uh, there's a runner on first base here for Frank LaPorte. Frank hits a 23 for a 32. It's a fly ball over to right field. Murphy has that one for the second out. And here's Heine Wagner. Wagner rolls an 11 for a 0. And uh, let's see what happens next. It's going to be a 44 for a 2. That's a triple, and that will score Wagner. Red Sox up one nothing, and here comes Denny Sullivan, two outs. So the infield is deep, and uh, Sullivan rolls a 44 for an 8. It's a fly ball over to right field. Murphy has that for the out. We go to the bottom of the first. Jimmy Collins up there rolls a 41 for a 28. Ground ball over to Wagner at uh, short, and he makes the play and throws to first for the out. One away. Danny Murphy rolls a 14 for 43. Here's that little E roll. It's a 31. So it's a fly ball over to left field, and uh, Hartzell is there for the out. Two away. Hartzell, top C, of course. We know all about him. Here's Rube Oldring rolls a 12 for a 25. That's a ground ball to second base. Laporte has that, throws to first for the out, and we go to the top of the second. Gabby Kravath up there rolls a 53 for a 17. Changed an 18. That's going to be an error on uh, Nichols, the shortstop. And he uh, goes, Kravath, that is, goes to first base. Here comes Harry Lord. And uh, Harry rolls a 34 for a 44. Fly ball over to center field. Oldring has that one for the out. One away. Lou Krieger up there now. Rolls a 64 for a 27. And that's going to be a ground ball over to third base. Collins has that. Throws over to Eddie Collins at uh, second for one. And on to first for the double play. We go to the bottom of the second inning. And uh, here is Aussie Schreckengoss, who rolls an 11 for a 0. And the next roll is a 31 for a 6. That's a double to right center field for Aussie. That'll bring up Eddie Collins here. And I think they're just going to swing away here with Collins hitting 310. He rolls 51 for an 8, and that's going to be a comeback over to Cy Young. That will send Schreckengoss to third as uh, Young throws to first. That brings up Topsy Hartzell, and the infield will come in. Schreckenghost is uh, not a particularly fast runner. I mean, he's a catcher. So we're going to have Hartzell swing away, and he rolls a 44 for an 8, and that's a fly ball over to center field, or right field, rather. Gessler is there for the out, makes the catch, and uh, the uh, runner, uh, Schreckenghost, is able to score. And um, that makes this a 1-1 -one -one ball game, and uh, we'll go up now to a Harry Davis. So... Uh, Good play there by uh, Topsy Hartzell, able to drive in that run. And here comes Davis, rolls a 31 for a 9, gets a single over short. And uh, here is Simon Nichols now. Nichols rolls a 15 for a 10, and that's going to be a single. Sends Davis to third. Nichols then steals second as Eddie Plank is up there. So the pitcher, Eddie Plank, up there with two outs. Runners on at second and third. And he rolls a 33, but that's for an 8, unfortunately, for him. That's a fly ball over to Sullivan in center field for the out. We go to the top of the third inning. I was about to say at the start of this, we have Cy Young pitching for you against Eddie Plank. What a great pitcher's duel. But then I started to think, hmm, in Skeeter Soft or Appa or games like this, are the pitchers really pitching? Well, they were there. It does make a difference, the grade of the pitcher. Young rolls a 13 for a 23, and that's going to be a uh, swinging bunt, and that will be an error on Schreckengos, the catcher, who's having kind of a rough time. Here comes Doc Gessler. Scored the run and then made the error. Gessler rolls a 53 for a 16, changed to an 18 randomly, and that's going to be another error on Nichols. Three errors on the athletics, and Connie Mack is not going to be happy about that. That'll bring up Bob Unglaub with runners on at first and third. Nobody out. And the roll is a 31 for an 8. That's going to be a single because it's a B. That will send one runner home. And then uh, the runner on at uh, third base, which was, I forget who that was, is thrown out. Let's see, that would be uh, Gessler. And he's thrown out because he's uh, not particularly fast. 2-1 to one now, though, the Red Sox with the lead. Unglaub is on at first with that single. And uh, here comes Laporte, who rolls a 41 for a 28. That's a ground ball over to the shortstop. Uh, Nichols has that, throws it to first for the out. Unglaub moves up to second, two away, and here's Heine Wagner, and he rolls 16 for a 26. That's a ground ball over to the, short, the uh, second baseman, sorry, Eddie Collins, who makes the play and throws to first for the out. We go to the bottom of the third, and it's Jimmy Collins, who rolls a 63 for a 30. That's a fly ball to Kravitz and left for the first out, one away. Danny Murphy up there, he rolls a 63 for a 31 this time. Fly ball to, um, uh, let's see, Sullivan for the second out, and here is Rue Wildring. And Oldring rolls a 43 for a 29. That's a comebacker over to Young. Throws to first for the out. We go to the top of the fourth. Denny Sullivan up there now. He rolls a 13 for a 40. Changed to a 36. That'll be a ball. Whoops. Let's try that again. 
Roll is a 16 now for 28. Ground ball over to uh, the shortstop, uh, Nichols, who throws the first for the out. One away. Gabby Kravath up now. He rolls an 11 for a 2. And the uh, little, the uh, 0 roll is a 25 for a 2. That's going to be a triple for Gabby with one out here in the bottom of the fourth. They'll bring up Harry Lord. And now the question comes, do we uh, bunt or not? And I think that we will try to bunt. Infield will come in in a one-run game. And the roll is a 13 for a 39, and that's a really, really poor play there by Lord as he misses it, and uh, Kravitz is thrown out in the rundown trying to steal. Lord back up there again, rolls a 54 for a 45. That's a fly ball over to right field. Murphy has that one for the out. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Aussie Shrek and Ghost up there, rolls a 46 for a 27. That's a ground ball over to Lord, a third. He makes the play and throws the first for the out, one away. And it's Eddie Collins. Collins rolls a 24 for a 13. And there's a strikeout, two away now for Topsy Hartzell. Topsy rolls a 33 for a 7. There's a single to right field, and that will bring up Harry Davis. Two outs, runner on her first. Davis rolls a 51 for a 9, and that's going to be an infield hit that he beats out. That will put runners on first and second. Now two outs, bottom of the fourth. Athletics trying to blow this one open. And Nichols gets a 22 for a 7. That's a single for him, sends Davis to third, and that makes this a 2-2 ball game. And here comes Eddie Plank, so the Athletics have come back twice now. And Eddie Plank rolls a 31 for a 36. It's changed to a 40, and that's going to be a, a little number in front of the plate. Um, I suppose that's going to be... I'm sorry, no, that's an attempt at a double steal. Um, and uh, unfortunately, the runner of second is thrown out. Odd to have an attempt at a double steal with two outs like that. We go to the top of the fifth. That's an unusual play. <laughs> Unusual play result gives us an, u- an unusual play. Who would have thought it? Lou Krigger rolls a 15 for a 9 and gets the base hit. Runner on at first base now for Cy Young is going to bunt. Rolls a 43 for a 29, and that's a poor bunt over to the uh, right side. And uh, the first baseman, Davis, uh, throws over and gets the lead runner out of second. One away for Doc Gessler. Gessler rolls a 56 for a 34. And uh, here's the uh, little E roll. It's a 25 just missing the range. And it's a pop-up over to the uh, shortstop, Nichols, for the second out. Two away, Bob Unglaub. Rolls a 14 for a 43. It's a fly ball over to center field. Oldring has that for the out. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Eddie Plank still up there. We'll start this off. He rolls a 34 for a 44. And uh, the little he rolls a 62 out of the range as a fly ball. Quiet over to Sullivan in center field for the first out. One away. Here now, Jimmy Collins. Collins rolls a 52 for a 27. That's a ground ball over to third base, and it's the uh, third baseman, Jimmy Collins, makes the play. I'm sorry. Third baseman, wrong team, Lord, who makes the play and throws the first for the out. Two away. Danny Murphy up there now. Rolls a 16 for a 26, and that is a ground ball over to uh, second baseman, Laporte, who makes the um, play and throws the first for the out. Just about had Jimmy Collins uh, running out there and grabbing the ball <laughs> that he just hit for himself. Uh, this is a this is a confusing system. Should be upgraded uh, a little bit here. Frank Laporte up uh, rolls a 53 for an 18. It's changed to a 20. It's going to be an error on the second baseman Collins, Eddie Collins, uh, making that error. That puts Laporte on at first. And here's Heine Wagner. Wagner rolls a 55 for an eight. There's a uh, ground ball over to third, and uh, as Jimmy Collins making that play, he throws over to first for the out. Laporte moves up to second. And uh, there's uh, one out here for Denny Sullivan, who rolls a 36 for a 33. Little E roll comes up again. It's going to be a 24, just missing the range again. And that's a pop-up over to uh, Short. Nichols makes the catch. Two away. Gabby Kravitz is up there, and he rolls a 66 for a zero. This might be big. And his next roll is a 52 for a seven. That's a single that will score the runner. I'm going to pause this game here for a second. I will be right back. All right, that didn't take too long, did it? Um, we are back for more, and uh, what do we have here? Gabby Kravitz is on at first base here as a Harry Lord with two outs, top of the sixth. And his roll is a 43 for a uh, comebacker over to, or 29, comebacker over to the pitcher, uh, Plank, who makes the play and throws over to first for the out. We go to the bottom of the sixth. So uh, the Red Sox do get a run, and they have a one-run lead once again. And here comes Rube Oldring, four errors now in the athletics. Oldring rolls a 33 for a 7, and he gets the base hit, and so they're coming back right away. Here comes Schreckengoss, and we're going to take a look at Oldring's card. He is pretty fast, and so we're going to do a little hit and run. Uh, fast is in the sense of he has the 11, so he won't get thrown out trying to steal. Schreckengoss rolls a 51 for a 9, and that's going to be a ground ball over to Wagner at uh, short. He makes the play and throws to fir- third for the out, first for the out. Sorry, Rube Oldring moves up to second. One away, and here is Eddie Collins, runner on at second base. Collins rolls a 63 for a 31. That's going to be a little fly ball over to Sullivan in center field for the second out. Two away, and here's Topsy Hartzell. 
who rolls a 54 for a 45, and that's a fly ball over to right. Gessler has that one for the third out. We go to the top of the seventh, and it's going to be Lou Krieger up there. Lou rolls a 25 for a nine and gets the base hit against Eddie Plank over short. That brings up Cy Young, and uh, Young, of course, going to bunt again. And the rule is a 45 for a 36. It's a pass ball. Charge that one to the uh, catcher. That allows Krigger to go up to second. Next rule is a 33 for a 7. And so that's a bunt. Good bunt over to the right side. That would have normally scored the run, by the way. We say that part quiet. Good bunt over to the right side. Davis has it and flips back over to the uh, second baseman, uh, Collins. Eddie Collins covering at the bag. Krigger goes over to third, and the infield comes in. Here's Doc Gessler. Gessler today 0 for 3, but hitting 344 this season with a uh, good 417 on base percentage. And his rolls a 21 for a 32. That's a fly ball over to right field. Murphy has that for the out. Unfortunately, Krieger is slow. If he were fast, uh, he could have scored two away. And here is Bob Unglaub. And Bob rolls a 55 for a yep 55. Sorry for a seven, and that scores the run. It's four to two. And here comes Frank Laporte. And uh, his rolls a 45 for a 14. That's a ball. And next is a 65 for a 35. Is a pop up uh, right in front of the catcher. Schreckengoss has that for the out. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Harry Davis up there now against uh, Cy Young. Two for two today, having a good game. Only hitting 194 this season. He rolls a 44 for an eight. That's a ground ball over to Wagner at short. Makes the play and throws the first four of the out. One away. Uh, Simon Nichols now uh, he rolls a 54 for a 45. A uh, fly ball over to right field. And Gessler has that for the out. Two away. And it's Eddie Plank. And Eddie rolls a 16 for a 26. That's a ground ball over to Laporte at second. He makes the play and throws the first for the out. We go to the top of the eighth. Heine Wagner back up there, one for three today. Again, hitting just a hair under 300. These Red Sox hitting well. Wagner rolls a 52 for a 27. That's a ground ball over to Jimmy Collins at third. And he makes the play and throws the first. Uh, one away, and it's Denny Sullivan. He'll roll a 51 for a nine. That's a pop-up uh, over to Jimmy Collins again. Two away, and here's Gabby Kravitz, who rolls a 52 for a 27. He goes to the uh, left side again. Collins makes the play and throws the first for the out. We go to the bottom of the eighth, and it's Jimmy Collins up there. Who would have thought? Collins rolls a 53 for a 20. It's changed in 18, and that's going to be an error there on Wagner, the shortstop, first error of the game for the Red Sox. Puts Collins on it first. Here's Danny Murphy. He'll do some hit and run, and the roll is a 33 for a zero. This might be big. And the next one's a 46 for a six. That's a double to right field, and that will score the runner because, of course, Collins was moving with the pitch. And so Danny Murphy comes up really, really big here for the um, athletics in the bottom of the eighth inning, and uh, this might end up being a really interesting game. Uh, we'll uh, have to keep an eye on this one and see exactly what happens. This is one of those games where it was a little bit quiet, a little bit uh, boring, well in control for a while, and then all of a sudden the big thing happens. Rube Oldring is up there now, and uh, he's one for three today, hitting 250 uh, so far this season, not very much in terms of on-base percentage. And he rolls a 32 for a 26. And see, that's kind of a key out. People don't believe this, and people these days will tell you that all outs are created equal, but they're not really. In this case, this out is definitely not created equal because it sends uh, Murphy up to third, and uh, that's what you want to do. If you don't send that runner up to third, you've got a problem uh, because, uh, you know, you, if you're making an out anyway, sending him to third base is a lot better than striking out. Two outs now, and here is Ossie Schreckengoss. And he rolls a 24 for a 13 and strikes out. Um, that is the second out. I'm sorry, there's one out. And uh, now there's two outs as uh, Shrek and Ghost strikes out. I should have had him uh, try to bunt. Eddie Collins up there now. And uh, he rolls a 12 for a 24. There is a little E. It's a 23 right in the range. And that's going to be um, the uh, shortstop Wagner who uh, boots that one. And Collins is um, able to uh, reach uh, first. And so uh, despite rolling into one of those uh, ground ball outs, um, it's the little E that saves him. And, uh, boy, that's pretty big. Uh, that's really big as that ties this ball game and brings up Topsy Hartzell now with two outs in the bottom of the eighth and a runner on it first. And so here is Topsy, and he rolls a 51 for a nine, and that's a single uh, that sends Collins to second. And so Cy Young has given up now nine hits in the, uh, uh, in the ball game and uh, is in danger of losing a game um, that he really should have uh, won and uh, should have won quite handedly. Here's Harry Davis, now the uh, number seven hitter for the Athletics. Davis is two for three, having a good game, and he rolls a 34 for a 44. That's a fly ball over to Sullivan in center field for the third out. We go to the top of the ninth. And it'll be Harry Lord leading this off for uh, the uh, Red Sox. Lord rolls a 53 for a 19, and that's going to be an error on the uh, third baseman, Jimmy Collins. That's the fifth error given up by the Athletics so far today. I'll bring up Lou Krigger, and Krigger is two for three today, but hitting 171, uh, you bet he's going to bunt. 
and he rolls a 12 for a 24. Now there is a little E roll, and this time it's a 45, it's out of the zone, out of the range, and that's a bad bunt back to Plank, who uh, whips around and uh, throws that over to Nichols, covering at second base for the out. One away, and here is Cy Young, who also is probably going to bunt, and he rolls a 56 for a 34. Let's see if the little E will bail him. Nope, 64 is the roll, and that's another bad bunt. This one goes over to the uh, left side. Collins has it and goes over to Nichols a second for the out. Two away, uh, Cy Young on it first, and here's Doc Gessler. Gessler rolls a 15 for an 11. That's a base hit, sending Young over to third, and then Gessler steals uh, second base as Bob Unglaub comes up there. So two outs, runners on second and third. Here is Unglaub. And he rolls a 62 for a 12, and that's a strikeout, and that means the little E is uh, nullified. We go to the bottom of the ninth inning. So Eddie Plank gets the big strikeout in the big area, and I probably should have taken some screenshots of that in uh, retrospect. Here's Simon Nichols. Uh, nobody on, bottom of the ninth inning, 4-4 tie ball game, and Nichols rolls a 15 for a 10, and that's going to be a uh, base hit. And uh, that will bring up uh, Eddie Plank. Um, next, yeah, see this, I've said this before, that little uh, lineup thing on the uh, left side never quite works, and it really um, confuses me. It confuses me all the time when I'm playing this, right? Because it's like, oh, no, it's actually the number nine hitter. I don't know why this thing's up there, and I don't know if Cyrus watches these or not, but Cyrus, if you do, man, like, let's think about, like, taking this away because it really is confusing for me. Eddie Plank is up there now. Now, you only need one run, so there's not really much point in taking Plank out of this game if he's still pitching well. Let's have him bunt. He's hitting 300, but let's have him bunt anyway, and he rolls a 24 for a 13. That's a strike. Let's do it again. And this time it's a 31 for a 36. That's a pass ball, and that will send Nichols up to second. That's a big roll. That is a big roll because um, that means that uh, the runner is now in scoring position, and uh, it's uh, looking worse and worse for Cy Young. And uh, let's see. I'm writing this wrong. See, I'm doing the screenshot this time. It's always harder for me to do these screenshots when I'm doing the play-by-play uh, -play at the same time because um, I forget what I'm doing. Um, I'm not one of these people who's uh, designed to work well with uh, uh, doing multiple things at once. So Plank now has a one-on-one -on -one count on him, and he rolls a 13 for a 13. And that's going to be another foul strike. And uh, the question is, do you keep the bunt on or not? I think we take it off, actually. And uh, the rolls a 53 for a 21, changed to a 22, and that is going to be a bad pickoff move by Young. And uh, Plank ends up going to third. That is a third error by the Red Sox. and uh, Or Plank, I'm sorry, Nichols ends up going to third. That is a third error in this ballgame by the Red Sox, who were playing very well beforehand. And um, that means the infield is going to come in here on Plank, who has a one and two count on him. Don't know what Cy Young was trying to do with that, but um, that's a little bit foolish. Infield comes in, and uh, Nichols is fast. And the roll is a 36 for a 33. There is a little E. And this time it's a 51 that's out of the range. This is going to be a pop-up over to uh, the pitcher, Young, for the uh, first out. And so Plank uh, gives us a lot to be interested in and ends up uh, popping out in the end, so it doesn't do much. I think that's the first time in any of these that I've had a single player have three different highlight uh, uh, screenshots that I've saved. That brings up Jimmy Collins. Infield comes in again. Collins is 0 for 4 today and uh, not hitting particularly well so far this season. He rolls a 34 for 44. Another little E. This might be deep enough to score the run, but uh, I'm not sure with Sullivan and his three rating. Um, the uh, little E rolls a 45, which is um, out of the uh, range, but it is deep enough to score the run, and that will do it. And so uh, Davis, or Davis, I'm sorry, Collins, um, shows us that, uh, you know, falling up sort of mentality and that it actually works. As uh, he hits a, a fly ball for a sacrifice fly, and it is just deep enough to uh, win the game for the Athletics. Philadelphia comes back one, two, three times in this ball game uh, from a 1-0, 2-1, and then a 4-2 deficit to win it. Final score is 5-4, to four, and uh, Young ends up giving up the uh, 10 runs. Eight errors in this ballgame, so it wasn't a pretty one, but um, it was a lot of fun, and I'll talk with you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.